Our first mob in Minecraft 3D. He looks amazing. Ow! Insert disc six to find out what happens when a zombie punches you in the face. <laughs> okay. Well, guess what, zombie? This is what happens. You get hit back, dude. Hey, guys and gals. Pauly Jr. here, and welcome to Minecraft 3D by Mojang. PC repair and software AB. Hold on. We're probing for sound blaster. Setting the interrupt. Oh, hold on. It's all good. I, I thought I saw an error there. There was some kind of a uh, interrupt conflict, but let's see if this works. Oh, it works, and it sounds so good. You got a oh, lip blop. I clicked on something by accident. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, welcome to Minecraft 3D. This game just came out today, April 1st, 1994, and I just downloaded it from a, uh, a BBS, a, a bulletin board system. I'll put the address down below. In the description, you can call it up with your analog modem, your 300 baud modem, and dial in and then download Minecraft 3D Shareware Edition. Should take about 14 days. And then once you download it, you might want to put it on some floppy disks so you don't you don't lose it. Right? I'm gonna back it up. Anyway, so let's jump in and play. Let's uh, select an episode here. The player is you. We only have one episode available because these are a lot until we register it. It is shareware after all. So we'll just go with the player as you. We'll select a difficulty level. We got Hello Newville, Filthy Cash, Lemon Curry, Extreme to the Max, and wow, obligatory nightmare mode. Uh, we'll save that for later. Let's go right in the middle, Lemon Curry. And let's check out this uh, Minecraft 3D. I hear good things about it. All right, here we go. It's loading up into system memory, 16K kilobytes of memory. <laughs> It's amazing. Look at those graphics. So realistic. Minecraft Shearware. Please consider registering this game to gain access to full episodes and all weapons. So we can we have to register this game to unlock all the full episodes and get all the weapons. And maybe we'll do that after we evaluate. But for right now, let's continue playing and look at this technical masterpiece. 3D gaming. It is gorgeous. I mean, look at that tree. Oh! Hold on a sec. We have to insert disk 11 into drive A and press enter. Right. Disk 11. Okay. It's in. Although, wait a second. I don't even have a drive A anymore. <laughs> so first thing you do in Minecraft 3D, according to Paul Soros Jr., because I watched his tutorials on YouTube. Oh, wait a second. There's no YouTube. Um, is punch wood. Insert disk 32 to find out what happens after you punch wood. All right. Disk 32 is in. This demo will last five days. Do your best. Wow. So it looks like Mojang made, is going to make this available for five days to play around with. Oh, there's a chest right here. Um, and actually, today is not 1994, in case you didn't know. It's actually um, 19, it's 2019. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. It's Monday, April 1st. April Fool's. Oh, look at all the goodies here. We got some tools. We got some sticks. We have some bread. Fantastic. We're getting a nice little head start here. Jungle wood. Oak planks, an apple, and oak logs. All right. Well, you know what? Take that chest. Listen to that sound. So real. I mean, it feels like I'm really swimming in water right now. Doesn't it? Listen to the bubbles. Fantastic. All right. Um, so now, let's... Uh, what do we do next, Paul Soros Jr.? Well, let's explore. There's a barrel over here. Let's go check out that barrel and see what's inside. It's a burning barrel. Interesting. Oh, this pants. Leather pants protection, too. Oh, nice. Oh. Darn it. Thing just exploded. <laughs> it was trapped, but we got nice, glowy leather pants. Now, by the way, this is the shareware version. You can see up on the top, it is unregistered. And if we decide we want it, oh, look at all the burning barrels over there. We can, uh, we pay the developer. And that, my friends, is exactly how a lot of games were released back in the 90s as shareware. It was essentially a uh, an honor system. The developers would release a game in full, in many cases, and if you liked it, you would buy it, pay the developer for it. Is that going to blow up? Yes, yes, it will indeed, and it did. Let's put on those protection one pants. Much better. We have a weapon now. <gasps> what was that sound? Oh, I thought it was something swimming. I was going to say it sounded so real. Wait, I think it, I think there is something swimming, and it sounds so real. Oh, it's a squid. <gasps> Let's go check out that squid. Look at the animation. It's really swimming. Oh, uh-oh. Insert disc 16. <laughs> we have to insert disc 16. 
<laughs> Disc 16 inserted to see the squid. He's kind of flat. Um, can we heal up? Let's eat an apple. We're down to 75% health. Let's see if this will heal up again. There we go. Yes, we are healing. I love the, uh, the gooey here. It looks, um, I mean, it's kind of like Doom, right? With the face looking at you. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Let's go check out the rest of the loot. Oh, gosh. Insert disc 22. That's getting really annoying. Oh, look at the goodies in here. What if we just take a few things? Like, what if we don't want everything? Will it still explode? Huh? No. Nope, but we glitched it. We glitched the sound. <laughs> Yeah, see, you kids got it easy these days. Back in the old days when we had uh, sound blaster cards or uh, what was the other one? I had a Turtle Beach card, actually. I never, well, I had a sound blaster later in life, but I was one of the um, one of the early adopters of the other, the, uh, the competitor of the sound blaster. I think it was a Turtle Beach. Uh, I don't really recall now, but we would have to sometimes set the interrupts and the com ports to make them work properly. Oh, man, and there it goes. I glitch again. Protection one, smash it. It won't blow up if we just smash it, right? Can we reach this one? Uh, leather armor we don't need. Oh, just smash it. Because now once you open it, you glitch it out. But yeah, in the beginning of the game, when I started this up, you saw where it was configuring the, uh, the sound card, right? And it simulated loading up of a game in DOS, which is something that we also had to deal with. And if there was a conflict between multiple devices um, then something wouldn't work like either the sound wouldn't work or graphics wouldn't work or something would not work and you'd have to fiddle around with your configuration in DOS in some cases you'd have to go to the sound blaster configuration file and uh, reset some numbers change interrupts and com ports and all kinds of stuff it was pretty pretty fun I guess. <laughs> Alright, we got a helmet here. We got some diamond pants. Let's get rid of those. Where are the diamond pants? So, the game has given us all kinds of goodies here, but we don't need half of it, do we? I don't think so. Oh! Oh, a sheepy! Listen to those sheep sounds! I've never heard anything so amazing before. How are we doing, sheep? Look at the animation and the graphics on that guy. What happens if I... Oh, we don't know what happens until I insert disc 40 into drive A and press enter. Yeah, we used to have to deal with that too. Us old PC gamers back in the day. Games were... A lot of games were released on multiple discs. It could be floppy disks, could be CDs, could be DVD DVDs. And you'd have to do this every once in a while to load up new content. Although it didn't happen nearly this often. <laughs> All beautiful horsies. Check out the horses in Minecraft 3D. They look, oh, disc 11. That's the horse disc. They look amazing. Insert disc 7 to see the foal. Okay, check him out. He's so adorable. Come here, little buddy. Aww, he, he neighs too. Listen to that neigh. I've never heard a neigh so awesome in a video game. Well, let's go through these. Uh, oh, a red key opens red doors. <gasps> what is a red door? Oh, we're gonna have to find out. We're gonna have to track down the red door. Insert disc 12 to open this up. Protection 1. And this is really annoying, to be perfectly honest. I wish there were a way to shut that off. Apparently there are some, uh, some cheat commands. I don't know them off the top of my head. I'll look them up, and we'll give them a try. I don't know how long we're gonna play this. This, this will be available for five days, right? Is what they said. And today is the 1st of April, so we got at least one day. Um, and I suppose if you guys want to see more, then let me know. <laughs> I'm not sure how long I can handle these graphics. Um, they're very nostalgic, and I used to play a lot of games that look like this, but I'm not sure I can, uh, I can handle it for much longer, especially that pop-up with the disc inserting nonsense. Hopefully that can be eliminated when I find those commands. Oh, hold on. Got to insert disc 16 to look at the moon. There we go. All better. Oh, look at that night sky. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I love my 5 o'clock shadow. <laughs> Hi, buddy. How we doing? Oh, gosh. I didn't mean to swing at you, pal. All right. Let's hop into bed. My bed. Back off. Back off. All right. Thanks for the bacon. We'll have that in the morning. There we go. Sweet dreams. We made a new advancement. Sweet dreams. Anyway, this is how you set your spawn point. 
And now you have to leave the bed there. If we die, that's where we respawn. Pretty cool stuff. Now let's go exploring. Oh, multi-shot five on that thing. All right, this we're going to take. That is some good stuff in there. That is some real good stuff. Not that. Um, the boots are fantastic. We got a full suit of diamond armor now, huh? Awesome. And that um, multi-shot's good, although we only have six arrows. Let's reload. So I wonder what keys we have to find. We have a red key, and I wonder what door it opens up. Very excited to find out. Another red key. I'm not going to even break these open. We'll just get far enough away where they don't make noise anymore. Oh, grab that. That won't explode as long as you leave something behind. <laughs> Good to know. I love that this game has multiple biomes. It is amazing, isn't it? This Minecraft game, multiple biomes. Right now we're in a swamp. I just realized we have to eat. Oh, insert disc 29 to eat. <laughs> yeah, there's a meat pop there. And uh, you got to keep that meat pop full. By the way, I just realized that this um, this crossbow is called BFC 9000. So a lot like the BFG 9000 in Doom, only this one uh, works with chickens very well. <laughs> See? Right. <laughs> it's the big fracking chicken killer. 9000. That's what it's called. Oh, just found a blue key. So we have a red, a blue, and a yellow. And my guess is that that's got to be all of them, right? Hi, cows. They look so real, don't they? They're a little flat, a little skinny. You guys have any beef? We could use some beef, maybe some leather. Ooh, that guy had a little bit of beef. I love the sound they make when you pick up the balls. <laughs> oh, man, these barrels are everywhere. I'm getting kind of tired of bumping into them because of the glitch especially, but... They seem to not have anything that we're interested in anymore, so let's just keep moving. I want to go find a, 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 a door that's locked that we need to open with a key. We'll jump into a hole and... Oh, hold on. Insert disc 3 to land. Boom. <laughs> and we'll see if we can find some of the monsters in Minecraft 3D. Because I know there are some. I know there's a whole bunch. Our first mob in Minecraft 3D. He looks amazing. Ow! Insert disc six to find out what happens when a zombie punches you in the face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, guess what, zombie? This is what happens. You get hit back, dude. Monster Hunter will listen to their sound. And the sound they make. It's excellent. <laughs> Terrific. Grab his balls. We are now Monster Hunter. Fire away. Oh, my. Oh, reload. Uh, okay, how about just run? Oh, no. Insert disc 25 to find out what happens when a creeper blows up. Woo, made it. The one thing I do not like about crossbows is they're so dang slow. Ah. <laughs> no. Okay, that's what happens. The creepers blow. That was awesome. Look at that explosion. Pretty amazing. Ah. Look at that skeleton. <laughs> Did you see him just keel over? Oh, a spider. Oh, insert just 21 to fight spider. Very good. Let's see what he can do. He can die really well. That's about it. Ow. Not doing much damage. This armor that we found is fantastic. Alright, I'm going to keep uh, exploring here and try to find a village. Because so I want to see villagers. And then, uh, then we'll probably call it quits because this um, the graphics are getting to me. <laughs> hey guys! I think I see a village in the distance, but I have to insert disc 37. So in it goes. Bloop. Huzzah. We have a village, and it's enormous. Look at this village. It's sick. It's huge. They keep piggies here. Hi, piggies. All right, we're going to find a bed, and we're going to sleep and make it day. Oh, no, there's a guy in this bed. Hey, buddy, wake up. It's a half a guy. It's a split guy. <laughs> oh, no. The village is under attack by the zombies. Better close that guy's door. Sorry, pal. Didn't mean to disturb you. Oh, insert disc 29 to enter this house. Oh, there's a, there's a villager in here, too. Hey, pal, can you wake up? Bed's occupied. I can't sleep in the same bed as a villager. Oh, here's another guy sleeping. <laughs> you can barely see his eye. All right, we need to find a bed that's not occupied. Either that or we're going to have to uh, 
Oh, there we go. I was going to say we're going to have to kill somebody. All right, we're in bed. Day two has ended. We have survived. We are a monster hunter, and I'm getting super hungry. So let's go see if we can find a baker in town. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. What's your name, feller? Um, he doesn't want to talk. I think I heard <gasps> insert just 40 to see the iron golem. Wow. Giant. Look at this guy. Looks amazing. How we doing, pal? I'm looking for a stove or the baker. Hmm. All right. One of these guys has to be somebody we can talk to. Here we go. Fisherman, check out these trades. Ten coal for an emerald, three emeralds for a bucket of cod. <laughs> this guy doesn't seem to have uh, a job. So we're going to ignore him for now. He has no value to us. Neither do you, buddy. All right. Here we go. It looks like we have another fisherman. And you are a farmer. Ooh. Hold on a sec. I heard a, a cat. It's a kitty cat. Hi, kitty cat. Come here. Oh, no. No, we're friends. Get out of the water. You can't swim. Oh, gosh. A first cat and it's going to drown. Insert just 28 to watch cat drown. Let's just get away from it. We're going to have to get some fish to tame it. Which means we're going to have to do some fishing or buy some fish from the fisherman. Let's check out this nice stone home over here. Oh, hi. What you hiding from, buddy? Ah, this guy will cook cod for us if we bring him cod and an emerald. <laughs> Seems like a terrible deal. It's just cobblestone, huh? Is that carpet? Nice. All right, I'll just make my own stove, I guess. Unless we can find one around here. There's a lectern. All right, let me go dig up some stone and we'll make some food. In a, uh, here we go. Perfect. Oh, dark down here. Look at this hole. Something down here. I have no torches at all. Can't see anything. All right, I'm going to grab a bunch of stone before we head down into this cave here. All right, let's dump some of this stuff out. We don't need to carry it all around. We're going to go, I guess, jump in a hole and try to find a door to open up. Either a yellow door, a blue door, or a red door. we got all these keys. I'm not really sure what they're used for. You have any idea what these keys are for, my friend? Probably not. All right, it's time for bed, but we have to dismiss this uh, reminder, the shareware reminder, that if we are enjoying this game, we should register it. That's how shareware used to work. I wonder if there's still shareware around. I guess there is. Oh, these pop-ups are driving me nuts. I'm not sure I can play this much longer, to be honest. Between the pop-ups, those disc uh, insert, the disc pop-ups, and these graphics... Yeah, I think I've seen enough for one day. But I do want to jump down in the hall here with you guys. And then uh, just see where it leads. I do have torches now. I had to use charcoal to make them. Now this, that must be iron. Yeah, it definitely looks like iron. I can't believe there's no... Oh, hold on. Insert just 32 to see the... Yeah, there's coal. I walked right on top of it. Didn't even see it. Yeah, these graphics don't make it easy to identify these blocks. So I'll grab a few of these so we can make extra torches just in case we need them here in this cave. I don't know how big this cave is. But, uh, but I would like to um, explore underground for a little while. Maybe find uh, find a dungeon. And a red door, or a blue door, or a yellow door. And guess what? It's a dead end. <laughs> Dang it. All right. Well, so much for that adventure in this hole. Let's grab that iron at the very least. That is iron, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Insert just 22 to find out. Yeah, those pop-ups, they need to be, um, they need to go away. They need to go away after this, after the first five. Like, we get the joke. It was funny, but popping up every 10, ah, 15 seconds really, really kills the mood here. All right. Well, that's too bad. There's no... Is there another hole around here? Hey, buddy, have you seen any holes? It's a fisherman. You don't... Dude, how are you going to catch fish out here in the field? Um, yeah, I think I'll look around. It's the same hole. It's a different end. Um, for another hole to jump into. Off camera. Yeah. And then if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. we got five days to play around with it. I do want to track down these... Um, Ah, uh, dang it. Well, we're going to take that one anyway. Whoops. 
Yeah, I do want to track down these doors. I want to find a red door, green door, and a yellow door somewhere. Before we, we stop playing Minecraft 3D, because I'm very curious. Let's put those booties on. A little bit better. So, yeah, if you want to see more, let me know. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment. And let me know what you think about Minecraft 3D. And let's talk about the old days. If you have been around back then, in the days of shareware and inserting discs and setting your interrupt requests. Um, getting down and dirty. In the, uh, in the configurations for sound cards and stuff like that. And also, the BBS is like... I remember downloading tons of shareware games on BBSs um, through my modem. My first modem was literally a 300 baud modem. Which is ridiculously slow. Uh, anyway. Alright, I think we're done here. I'm just going to call it quits. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode if there is one. How did he survive that? Flat little squiddy. Uh, yeah, so again, let me know if you want to see more. Leave a like on the video and a comment. And we'll see you next time. If there is a next time. In the meantime, I probably will look around and at least try to discover one of these doors. And try to figure out what they're for. I could probably just go to Reddit, right? And figure it all out. But I'd rather... Whoop, <laughs> insert this 41 to look around. But I'd rather discover it on my own. I think I'm going to make a boat. Oh, pumpkins! Yeah, I'm going to make a boat. And we're going to sail along the coastline. And maybe we'll find what we are seeking. One of these doors. I want to grab a pumpkin, though. Aw, they're beautiful. Look at those guys. Yeah, very, very nice. Pumpkins. Insert just 15 to jump. Yep, got it. All right, that's it for now, folks. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time in Minecraft 3D 1994 edition. And if we like it, I'll even register it and unlock the other... Uh, the other missions and new weapons, right? Oh, <laughs> insert disc eight to say goodbye. All right, that's it. I can't stand that thing anymore. Oh, and happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> Stay on your guard because today is that crazy day when everybody tries to get away with the craziest things like uh, Minecraft 3D Shareware Edition 1994. All right, that's it. Goodbye.